Hello, I'm Blakely Long, CEO of BetterQOL. The iHeadache app captures real-time information about your headache that aids you and your physician in making an accurate diagnosis and will help to optimize your treatment plan. This tutorial covers entering a headache. The very first time you start iHeadache, a headache entry is created for you. An alert box will appear to inform you of this. Just press OK. I'm going to walk you through entering a headache. When you are ready to enter your very first headache into iHeadache, just click the headache start time and pick the date and time of your headache. All headaches must have a start time. When a new headache is created, the start time automatically defaults to the current date and time. The start time can be changed by selecting the start time and then selecting the date and time on the picker. The length of headache field is optional but may be used to classify the type of headache that you're having. To ensure complete reports and an accurate diagnosis, it is advisable to enter the duration of your headache. The duration can be less than 30 minutes, 30 minutes to 2 hours, 2 to 4 hours, or over 4 hours. You can update this as your headache progresses or wait until your headache is over to specify the length of your headache. Next, select the initial severity of your headache. If you know the maximum severity, you can select this as well. Note the initial severity cannot be higher than the maximum severity. Remember, iHeadache is designed for you to enter information about your headache as it progresses. You can initially select the length of headache and the maximum severity of your headache and always come back in and change them as needed. You can also update your symptoms, medication, and disability at any time. Information about symptoms, medication, and disability is optional, but it helps to create a complete headache report for you and your physician. Add or edit these items on the headache by pressing the arrow next to the selection. Once the section has been entered and saved, a check mark will be displayed. Let's enter symptoms. From the headache entry screen, press the arrow next to symptoms to open the symptoms screen. Enter your symptoms by answering yes or no to the questions. You must answer yes or no to all of the questions before you can save. Return to the symptoms page as your headache progresses if you need to change your answers and update the symptoms. An aura is something that occurs before the headache begins. If you are unsure if you have an aura, answer no for now and ask your doctor about this. Worse with movement means your headache pain is worse with regular movement such as walking around. The term throbbing pain can also be thought of as a pulsating pain or a pain that goes up and down like your heartbeat. Sensitivity to light means the headache is more uncomfortable for you when you are exposed to light or you may feel better being in a dark room. Sensitivity to noise means the headache is more uncomfortable when you are exposed to noise or you may feel better in someplace quiet. Press save when you are done or press cancel to return to the headache entry screen without saving. Note the check mark signifying that you completed this screen is now, is now showing. Next, let's enter disability information. Press the arrow on the headache entry screen to open the disability screen. iHeadache uses the MIDAS scale. MIDAS stands for Migraine Disability Assessment Scale. It is widely used in research studies to determine the effectiveness of treatments and their impact on the patient's disability. Answer either yes or no to the questions. Note, if you answer yes to question one, question two is disabled. If you answer yes to question three, question four is disabled. Also, estimate the amount of time you were completely disabled because of the headache and estimate the amount of time you were partially disabled. Don't include any of the time you were partially disabled in the time that you were completely disabled. Return to the disability screen as your headache progresses to update information. Press save when you are done or press cancel to return to the headache entry screen without saving. 
Now, let's enter medications taken for this headache. Your medication profile must be set up in order for you to add medications to your headache. If you do not have medications set up in your, pro in your profile, please press Settings on the Headache toolbar and set it up before continuing. If you need help, refer to the Eye Headache Settings tutorial, the Quick Start Guide, or the User's Manual. Press the arrow next to Medications on the Headache Entry screen to open the Headache Meds screen. You can add medications that you take for your headache here. To enter medications you take, press the plus sign to the right of Add Medication to Headache. Select a medication from your personal medication list and enter the time that you took the medication. Press Save to add the medication to your headache meds list. You can add another medication by pressing the plus sign again. Select another medication and the time you took it. Press Save to add this medication or press Cancel to return to the headache meds screen without saving the medication. To delete a medication from your headache, press Edit and select the medications you want to delete. If you are done adding medications to your headache, press Save again on the Headache Med screen to return to the Headache Entry screen. You have finished entering a complete headache. Remember, the duration, medications, disability, and symptoms are all optional, but filling them out completely will result in a more thorough analysis of your headaches and will enable your physician to optimize your treatment plan. To start another new headache at any time, press Add Another Headache on the Headache Entry screen. If you have already entered a headache on a particular day and try to enter a second one, an alert box will warn you that you already have a headache entered and ask if you are sure you want to start a second one. You can press OK to start another headache or hit Cancel to use the existing one. Anytime you create a new headache record, an alert box will tell you that a new headache has been created. Press OK and begin entering your data. To scroll backwards and forwards through your headaches, use the arrows at the top of the headache entry screen. The log screen displays all the headaches you have created. You can also start new headaches from the log screen by pressing either the plus sign button in the upper right hand corner or the plus sign after enter new headache. View the reports tutorial for more information about the log screen and generating reports for my headache.